Hello guys and welcome back. My name is Golden and today we are going through the settings of my inverters. Let's start. Okay, so my system is using three inverters connected in parallel using a single phase with seven batteries connected with the BMS with the inverters. Okay, so let's go through the settings. The first setting I've chosen SBU, which is the output source priority. This option is solar energy and batteries are providing power to all connected loads. And if the battery voltage drops to a low level warning voltage or in the program 12, it will switch to uh, utility. We will go to program 12 in a minute. So the next option is maximum charging current. This is the combination of the utility charging and solar charging. Currently this option is controlled by the battery BMSs and I cannot change that. Then we have AC input voltage range. Uh, I've set it to appliance because I'm using 230 volts that my utility provides. Uh, there is an option uh, UPS, which is from 170 to 280 volts AC and generator. Let me show you. And the generator option is from 90 to 280 volts AC with ma maximum charging current of 30 amps. And the next option is power saving mode. I'm using the default setting. And here, the option five is for battery type. I've chosen Li because I'm using lithium batteries with BMS, which means that the batteries are connected to the inverters are, and they're talking to each other. If you don't have a uh, battery with a BMS that can talk to the inverter, uh, you can change that to US2. This is for lithium batteries without BMS. Uh, if you're using batteries without BMS, there are some options that we have to change, but I will show you in a minute when we get to them. So currently I'm using lithium. When you select, select lithium, uh, it will prompt you to select a protocol option. So from zero to 50, I think, uh, it was a RS-485 and from 51 to 100, uh, the, the options are for CAN. Uh, you should check what type of protocol your BMS is using and when you select lithium, it will prompt you to select the battery protocol. So the next option, auto restart when overload. So this is the default option. Auto restart uh, when over temperature occurs, again, the, the default option. Output voltage, I've chosen 230 volts. My country is using 230 volts. And this is the frequency of the output. In, in our country, we are using 50 Hertz. Number of series batteries connected. This is the default option. I didn't change that too. So this option, the 11th one, is for maximum utility charging current. So I'm charging my batteries at night when the uh, electricity rate is lower because currently we don't have a, a lot of sun. And I've set it to 40 amps. This will charge my batteries overnight. And in the morning I will have pretty much full batteries. Battery to AC. So this option I've set it to 15%. So uh, when the batteries reach 15%, it will switch back to utility. In my case, this option is in percents. 
but if you're using UAS2 option in the battery type, it will be in voltage. So it depends on your battery type. If you are using 15S, uh, I think the battery to AC I was using before I connected the uh, BMSs, I was using like 47 or 46.5 volts. But this depends on the load. If you have a big load, the voltage will drop and then it will switch to utilities. So pretty much trial and error. The next option is for AC back to battery. So when the battery is reach 100% in my case currently, it will switch to, to batteries. Again, this option will be in voltages if you're not using a lithium option in battery type. So I think my, my voltage here was 51. So when the batteries get to 51 volts, it will switch to batteries. But again, trial and error, and the, it depends on your batteries. So option 14, charger source priority. I've selected CSO. CSO option is solar energy will charge battery as first priority. And then utility will charge batteries only when solar energy is not available. Again, I'm charging my batteries at night, so this is the option that I've chosen. Next option is buzzer. That's the alarm. I've set it to off. I will get notifications on my phone, so I don't need it to make any sounds. The next option is backlight control. This is the default option. Beeps when primary source is interrupted. Again, this is the default one. Overload bypass, I, I've enabled that. When uh, the inverters are overloaded, it will bypass from utility. Bulk charging voltage. I didn't touch that because uh, my batteries are controlling this. And the second one, the, the floating charging voltage. But if you're not using but again, if you're not uh, using the lithium battery type with the BMS and uh, you're, you've selected the US2 option in the battery type, uh, it depends on what batteries do you use. If you're using the 15S, uh, this should be a 54 volts and the floating voltage again, 54. If you're using 16S, I think uh, this will be 58 volts and in the floating voltage, again, 58 volts. This option is for low DC cut off voltage. This means that when the batteries hit 5%, the system will, will shut down. Uh, if you're using US2 option in the battery type, this will be in volts. So it depends on what battery do you have. You'll have to change the voltage accordingly. I think for lithium, it's like 42 volts, but just in case you can set it like 44 volts or 43, so you don't drain the batteries to zero. Uh, 28, uh, I haven't changed that. This is the default setting. And then we have year, month, date, hour, minute, second. This is the battery equalization. All of those settings from 43 to 48, we are not using them because we're using lithium batteries and I don't think they need equalization. 49th, this is the utility charging time. And as I said, I'm charging the batteries at night from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Then we have an option for AC output time. If you want the system to be on just in a particular time, 
you can set that in here. And that's pretty much it. And those were my settings for the system. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. I will try to answer each one of you. That's it for today, guys. If you like the video, you know what to do. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next time. Golden out.